saw on TV that Lionel Messi just got his 88th goal. That was so awesome. Yeah, actually, I talked to him last night, and it was like, mate, okay, you know, you know, yeah, I was actually talking to him, you know, it was like, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just got into college. Here's my acceptance letter. Uh, that's that's really nice. Great. That that's it. That's all you got. College is so stupid. I don't even know if I want to go. You know, it's just But did, I, I don't did like you get it, in? I just I just did don't Did you like get it. in? I got in. I got in. Is that the acceptance letter? No, it's just that why would I want to go in because of the bipolar expression? It's just like what Turn in stupid papers and all that stuff. I don't know, you know, it's just, I don't even know if I want to go. Hey, how are you? Um, I was actually wondering if I could talk to you for a second. Yeah, um, Dad, Muhammad's been acting so strange lately. Well, yesterday I went to McDonald's and I placed my order and I left them for a second there while I ran to the restroom. And when I came back, well, he, well, yeah, he was repeating his words to the cashier. Like, I suppose the cashier asked him what he wanted to eat and if his order was for here to go. And he kept repeating his words just like a parrot. He kept saying, for here to go, 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 until finally... I just stopped him and I was like, it's for here. It was the strangest thing. Dr. Amin, the leading breakthrough psychologist in schizophrenia? Yes, it is. Uh, I know I'm awesome. Who am I speaking with? You're speaking with Sydney Reese. I have a really good friend, Muhammad, and he's been displaying some strange symptoms. What are these symptoms? Well, he's been showing hyperactivity, and he will um, hold strange positions, and then... On top of that, he repeats words. Okay, I'll meet with him in my office on Monday. I'll see you then. Thank you. Hey, Muhammad, how are you? Have a seat. you to shake my hand. Can you try that for me? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. I, I scream it was 
Nice. I always liked ice cream. Okay. Relax. 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 Relaxing. 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 Relax. Okay, Mohammed. Uh, you seem a little uncomfortable today. I'm gonna prescribe you with a medium dosage of alpha zolan, uh, to be taken twice a day for one week. I'll see you next Monday. Okay. 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 Hey, Mohammed, how are you today? I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I'm, good. I'm, not, I'm not shaking your hand. I'm just not shaking your hand. Have a seat. I was gonna sit down. You don't have to tell me, okay? I, I, I don't think I have catatonic schizophrenia. Why don't you think this is true? Because I was tormented. That's, that's why. That's pretty much why. And what do you do from keeping yourself from being tormented? I stay still. And... Like in your strange positions? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly, that's... So, when you hold your positions for a substantial amount of time from hiding from those torments, uh... Well, no one's tormenting you, and therefore, why do you stay in those strange positions? I... Whenever you feel tormented, and you want to hide, just try taking a deep breath, and staying relaxed and calm. I will do that. Hello, Dr. Anand. Hi, Sydney. So, what is Muhammad's condition? Muhammad is having trouble experiencing difficulties expressing his thoughts because of delusions and anxiety. He also shows signs such as aggression, hostility, and negligence. Okay. So, what other forms of treatment do we have besides medication? Well, we have ECT, which mm -hmm. is electric convulsive therapy, mm -hmm. but we are going to use that as an alternative option, and I want to try using the medications first. Okay. Today, we're going to focus on healing relationships, as well as I'm going to give you resources to discover the role you play. So what resources in particular? Well, in this area, there's several support groups for patients like Muhammad. I will give you some references. That will be very, very helpful. I want you to, you and him to attend the support groups three, three times a week for three weeks. Okay, thank you. Mohammed, how's it going? It's going good. That's good. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling pretty good. Are you more relaxed lately? Yeah, I've, I've, I'm feeling more relaxed. Uh, I've been doing the breathing techniques that you taught me. That's good. Have, have you been taking your medications? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like you prescribed to me. That's good, that's good. Because the medications are very important. All right. Good. That I can see that you're doing better as well. Um, Thank you, Doctor. Since you're getting along so well, um, I think I'm gonna lower your dosage for medication to once a day. Does that sound good? Yeah, Doctor. That sounds wonderful. Sounds great. All right. I'll I'll check up on you next week, Muhammad. Hi, Sydney. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Do you see how well Muhammad is progressing? Yes, I know. He is awesome. Hey, what can I say? I'm the best. Thanks for your hard work. I think Muhammad is ready to be discharged in the next meeting. 
he's oh. recovering from his uh, acute uh, catatonic schizophrenia very well. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. That is great news. Did you hear that, Mohammed? Yeah, I heard that. I'm so excited. I'm honestly excited. Wow. Um, okay. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Amin, and I will talk to you later. You're welcome. Let's have cake. Where are the cookies? Here are the cookies, right here. I'll take one too. Honestly, Sydney, I would have been so helpless if it wasn't for you. Like, thank you so much. You're um, welcome. I feel so much ready for college and for the real world. I don't know. I don't know. You, you did so much. You honestly did so much. I wouldn't have had it any other way.